Hey what up guys today we are gonna check out Cyberpunk 2077 so I am trying to establish why is it that you have to play this game this game is an absolute masterpiece regardless of what anyone says so the Cyberpunk game is made by uh, CD Projekt Red it's a Polish gaming company who also made the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt uh, they are from that fame and that thing went viral for them and that is one of their most sold games like in the world and this is their second most ambitious project so this game has been in development uh, since 2012 it's, it's not just now that they decided to do this so they started in 2012, uh, they released a teaser in 2012 and that's it, there, nobody heard anything from uh, CD Projekt Red uh, after that and it's only in 2017 that they came up with the trailer and then started postponing the release of the game like by a mile and finally they um, gave a release date in uh, April uh, April of 2020 and uh, postponed it again because I think they knew that uh, there was a problem with the game and um, yeah so it went to September it went to November so but still this this game is extremely complicated and like I don't I can't get my head around how well they've made this game and this is just amazing uh, yeah so it is hard for the console gamers to accept that now but after the patches come in you are going to understand what I am talk, uh, talking about. Uh, so yeah, so there is a bunch of shit to do in the game including uh, like you know building your street grids and uh, level up uh, as much as you can by getting skills and uh, attributes all over the place. As far as the city is concerned, this is one beautiful city. Uh, the city is called Night City and uh, this is this city gives you that vibe, uh, that atmosphere like you feel that it's a breathing city that is there's a lot happening in the city trust me you just walk around uh, in the city and you understand that there are a lot of shit happening. You play as a character called V, you can choose to be male or female through extensive uh, player modification and then you're put into this world uh, either as a street kid or a nomad or a corpo. Uh, I chose to go through the uh, city uh, st uh, street kid uh, style and uh, the playthrough was pretty like uh, it was in the face and you had to be tough uh, during some part of the game and you had to show that you had that street kid grit uh, that you could take over anything and you could do anything uh, being from the street and this city looks amazing I uh, and this whatever is there on the screen right now this is without ray tracing without DLSS on and the game runs smooth and it's it's there I agree that it's a lot of uh, bugs are there in the game and um, you know but but it's all right for me at least it's all right there's so much of variety in the game there's so many different types of NPCs the buildings the amount of access that you have to these buildings it's bloody amazing you wouldn't get this even in GTA that is something uh, CDPR is known for they did this with the Witcher games they I think they're gonna just make this game much much better so uh, there is night city and then you can go to the badlands that is outside the city and it's just like desert miles and miles of desert that looks just amazing you can just ride around in your bikes and like you know just stare at the sunset or ride through a sandstorm as far as character development is concerned cdpr has like got it on point again so this is johnny silverhand 
This is the bioterrorist who lives inside your head and he pops up once in a while to irritate the living shit out of you. But as the game progresses, um, you know, he starts making an impact on your decisions and uh, you need to know uh, if it's affecting you or, you know, if, um, you know, you can make your own decision because he's a AI that is almost like, you know, trying to like uh, impact anything that you decide to do in the game. At one point, you also play as him and you understand uh, why uh, he did what he had to in the game. And uh, it's just his entire storyline is really heartbreaking. And you have to play through the game at least just for him. And this is Keanu Reeves uh, playing as Johnny Silverhand. And he's a legendary rock star in the game. But I've managed one thing for now. Not to fuck this up. What we have. Then we have Pan Am Palmer. She's a nomad. She belongs to this uh, tribe called Aldecaldos who live outside town in the deserted uh, area of the uh, city. And uh, we develop a relationship with her throughout the game and it is an option actually uh, it depends the ending of the game depends on how you build your relationship with her whether you cross uh, cross her or uh, whether you like whether you're nice to her but there are some amazing moments uh, with this lady in the game and it's just beautiful like every single moment that you have with her is like really beautiful and she uh, is one again like i said she's one of the most powerful women in the Fine. game Go right ahead. next up we have takamura san this guy is a okay. foodie i, I tell you uh he's a foodie he just all he can do throughout the game uh not throughout the game but still he he can only think about food and how uh, loyal he is to the arasaka corporation that you are trying to bring down and that is your main aim of the game and uh, Mr. Takamura Sano here uh, sets up some of the most beautiful moments in the game and you are taken aback by his loyalty at some times and his ability to be merciful in times that you cannot even think of being merciful. There are some really beautiful moments in the game and this is one of the best. I'm not gonna talk for this. That is the band Samurai and this is the guy uh, who sang, his name is Kerry, he is uh, Johnny Silver Silverhand's uh, right hand man and he's met him after a very long time. Up next uh, we meet Rogue, uh, she, uh, Johnny Silverhand tries to make up uh, with her uh, in the present uh, as he would have fucked up a lot of shit in the past. So. This is one of the most beautiful moments in the game. Uh, also, I'm, I'm saying that for everything, but there are that many moments in this game that you need to live through. You need to experience it uh, because CDPR has gone all the way for this game. Up next, we have cars. Uh, the cars in this game, oh my God, they are unbelievably beautiful, unbelievably detailed. Uh, the kind of cars that are there in this game it is just amazing some of them have f1 steering wheels and uh, on the outside they look like uh, off-road dune buggies and uh, you can get a different if in different areas of the city you can di get different type of cars and this is the best car you can get in the game and you can take a look at the level of detail in this car and this is not even the end this is not the most detailed car in the game and 
the next car is uh, i think a ray field it's called uh, and it is just amazing yeah up here this car is like a futuristic rolls royce uh, that nobody can get their hands on and it is really hard to get hold of this car and it just looks amazing the level of detail and by mistake i fell under a car and the car has suspension and everything and once you get into the car just take a look at that it just lights up everything the neon vibe of the city just makes everything even more beautiful and none of this the best part is that none of this has ray tracing or anything i'm using a almost a substandard graphic card uh, to get all this footage and this is johnny silva hands porsche 930 turbo so porsche had a, a deal with uh, cdpr to make this car they actually made this car for the game uh, designed it all over again and uh, this is uh, when Johnny was driving as a band member of Samurai uh, in the past so as a tribute to him the, you can get this car in the present as well uh, so unbelievable unbelievable detail on this car I know a lot of people have slammed this game for looking less than impressive on the consoles but on PC this game looks amazing and I think with the track record of CDPR we we have to just wait for them to release the patches and to fix everything all the resolution all the rendering issues but this game is worth it it's worth uh, playing it's worth giving your time to it's just so beautiful that you could just get lost you could play hours and hours the main story gets over in 20 hours I think and there are so many side missions that you will actually have to play for almost 175 hours to actually get different endings of the game. Uh, no two player will get uh, the same ending and even the same mission won't even be offered to them if they've not complete certain, uh, completed certain side missions. This game is a masterpiece and let's face it, even when Witcher 3 came out it had a lot of bugs and CDPR uh, fixed everything and now if you play that game it's smooth, it's smooth AF so it's just a waiting game with CDPR and we cannot blame them because they knew why they were delaying the game so much it wasn't perfect, they had to polish a lot of things I prefer waiting for how long it takes for CDPR to bring this game back up to normal so with that i want to end this video thank you for watching if you like my content please like comment and subscribe bye, -bye.